Hello, welcome to the workshop. Today I will show you how to make a knob for bolt that will be controlled from a toolbox bolt. When you change the size of the bolt, this will change also the knob size. However, this will work only if you use the same type of bolt and just change the size or length. It will not work if you change it with another toolbox component. We start with assembly in which we have placed a bolt. In my case, it's on the DIN standard M4 and also an empty part. Both the part and the bolt regions are aligned to our assembly origin. When we have done that, we right click on our part and select edit. Then we choose a plane which on which we will make a sketch for a revolve. So the front plane is the best because it's capturing the widest part of our bolt and we will start there. We make a center line for our revolve and out outlines sketch for our Up. We want this to be related to the bolt. this also this also to guarantee us a minimum thickness of one millimeter this is also related So this we make smaller because we will make a cut for the bolt head. This will be related also to our bolt head. And we need a cap to cover the boat. I'm making this to be printable.
our cap is also ready and we can make the revolve. And we have to add the cutouts for a better grip. We add a sketch here. Convert this, offset it. Five should be enough. These two we want to be horizontal. I will trim. I'll add a point here and here. All these three points will be vertical. Now I can define that I wanted it in the deepest point to be three. Then we make a circular sketch pattern of this one five times. Fix the center. Find this distance here is five and trim the remaining. Then we may cut through all okay, it seems some line is still there. Okay, we're ready. through all at fillets to this edges here. In this case I'm not adding the radius to the sketch that I use for cutting because it may damage the relation and the file later. I had another fillet on the top edge and the bottom one. Add a chamfer here, one millimeter. Now I should hide this and add a new sketch for here on the lower plane, which will be the cutout for the bolt. So we offset this by 0 0.3. Make it a construction geometry, insert polygon with six sides to match the bolt and make the control circle equal to the offset geometry. Then we should hold again our part so we can cut it. Make extrude cut up to this surface here. And our knob is ready. Now when we change, first I will save. When we change the toolbox component from edit to box component, we can change the size to M10, and as you can see, it's directly changing also the knob based on the relations we have defined.
This was my SOLIDWORKS tutorial how to make a knob that is controlled from a toolbox uh, component. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it. If you want to see more such content, subscribe for the channel. See you next time. Bye.